Sometimes weed is so pretty. It's not that it's unjust to smoke it. You just, there's a process. You have to cherish it and savor it because weed doesn't come around like this all the time. Yo, what's up YouTube, Dope Yola here. Hope you're having a dope ass day. Welcome back to the channel. First off, shout out to CBX. They did a photo shoot of their new strains. You know, the immaculate buds, the super nice ones, the pretty ones that are on the stem, the ones that you pick for photo shoots. They came and brought me the nugs after. They gave it to me a week ago, but I couldn't smoke it on principle. It is so pretty, I have to film it. I would do a disservice to Earth if I did not film this before I smoked it. So I really don't know how to frame this video. I'm just gonna use the bong, I'm gonna smoke, I'm just gonna try some weed. To help me name this series. What is this? It's new strains. It's stuff that we haven't seen yet. I'm excited. Introducing the very first strain. I got to show these off first, then we're just going to get smoking. This is called the Supreme Cream. These nugs are nothing short of perfect. They are so shiny. It's so caked. It's so pretty. Everything about it, the structure. If I was still selling weed, this would be my top, top, top shelf. I would charge you a used Honda for a pack of this. And also, isn't this awesome being able to grab the stem so you don't have to touch the actual weed? Because once you touch the weed, you pop the heads of the trichomes, you smash them, they disintegrate, they start deteriorating once you touch them. So you ever get a perfect nug and you're touching it and after you're like, oh, it looks a little flat. It's because you're just squishing it down. All right, guys. So this is what we're gonna do. This is about an eighth nug. It's immaculate, it's perfect. If I got this as an eighth jar, I would forever be loyal to that company for putting out quality like this. It's just perfect. And you guys gotta remember, this is not a paid advertising, this is not a sponsor. Their sponsors today are the Reup store and the dopest shop. CBX is not a sponsor, I just love this weed so much, I had to film it. Okay, let's crack this. Guys, smell. Ooh, ooh, hold on, let's crack it again. It has the sharpness up here of the Platinum Girl Scout cookies. Let's crack it again. A creamy Girl Scout cookie, but almost in the cream of the way cookies and cream white chocolate Hershey bars smell. Not like they don't smell just like chocolate, they smell creamy. They smell like something a little foreign. That's what this is. Oh damn. Here's at least 3.54 grams of the Supreme Cream. These nugs don't make sense. So introducing from CBX, the Glutopia. I don't know if you could fully see how disgustingly sticky and silver these nugs are. You know when weed's real purple, but it has so many trichomes, it turns silver? I like to call that Silver Surfer. And this is very much Silver Surfer. This looks immaculate. That's why I had to film this, dude. I could have just smoked these last week when they gave them to me. They were too nice, too sticky, too immaculate, too perfect not to film. So as you can see, these are just it's just so dumb. Damn! We're back from the rolling montage. This is the Supreme Cream and this is the Glutopia. They both look janky. Both of the tips wouldn't go in because it kept sticking to my fingers and it kept pulling it right back out. That's what she said. <laughs> So I did what I could. You can see how crooked these are. All right, guys, besides the joints, I also brought a bong, a super clean bong from thereupstore.com. I got my ash catcher on it. Everything's brand new, fresh water. Let's get started. What I'm really excited is we can smoke a joint bite. We don't even have to hold that bitch. Just smoke it like this. Look how sticky my hands are. <laughs> Up first, this is the Supreme Cream. I'm gonna start the joint. And then about halfway through, I'm gonna pack some bowls. Wow, that creaminess we smelled earlier. Overpowering. I could taste it instantly. It's taking over this whole joint. 
Also, if you guys are feeling bored, feel free to call this little number right here. You might get a voicemail. You might be able to leave a voicemail. You might get a little message. Go ahead and call this number right here if you get bored later. You know what I'd like to do? I'd like to go get an individual strain and taste test it from a bunch of different companies. Like, yo, here's the CBX. Here's the True OG. Here's the West Coast Cure. Here's the Cure Company. Here's the Jungle Boys. Guys, leave these suggestions. Is there a certain strain? Because I know CBX got Kush Mountains. That's a big one. They got cereal milk. Cookies also has cereal milk. There's a lot of different companies with their like power strains. If you guys want to see what they're like before you actually go out and spend your money and get them, that's what this channel is for. I will let you know if I like it, if I don't like it, if it's not for me, if it's for you, what kind of flavor it is, how it's breaking down, how it's smoking. All of these are factors. These are all real. This is kind of like the QVC for weed strains. Like, yo, this one's great. All right, buy it now. Like, that's what this is for. If you live in Kentucky or Missouri or something, you can't get these strains and you're sitting there smoking bowls by yourself with your homies, you get to vicariously try these things, at least experience and know if you come out to these states, there's a certain strain you want to try. And so far, it's jugging. All right, this is the Supreme Cream, guys. Here we go. Let's pack a bowl of this. Remember, guys, the reupstore.com for every single thing you can possibly need for smoking. We got a whole other warehouse, bongs, ash catchers, papers, butane, ISO, scales, weed guns, anything you can think of, we got. So go ahead and check out the reupstore.com and you can get this literal entire setup. It's like when dudes that love guns and they're like, yeah, this is my Desert Eagle. This is my nine and I love it. And also, I love my sovereignty. It's a great bong. That bong is almost $2,000. This one, $85. <laughs> it's all preference. I'm just letting you guys know the reup store has everything you can need. Now that right there is a nice little bowl. Clean. Ready to go. Joey, smoke it. cold water and the ash catcher <coughs> like eased the smoke in my throat so I wasn't expecting that exhale that I just got <coughs> I clean my bowls every single hit now use a glob mop or a q-tip whatever I have handy no matter what every bowl is perfect I will not do it without it. I love it pretty time-consuming though but look at that nice so let's do this supreme cream Bag appeal, looks, sellability. 10 out of 10. This is the first weed we've had on here that's 100%, let's just label it taxable because you can tax the shit out of anybody for these packs. And I'm not saying I sell packs still, I'm just saying, if I still sold packs, those would be the, you sure you want this? It's gonna hurt. That's the price that I would put on that. These are triple A's, these are what I call boutique packs. These are perfect packs. These cost a used car, arm and a leg. This right here on taste, I'm gonna give it 8.8. .8. It's Bob. It's fire, but if the creaminess came out more and the sage went down a little, I'd do this at like a nine five. But there is like a 20% like sagey taste in the back of my mouth, which is fine, I like that shit. But if it was like 16% instead of 20, this is a 9.5. And yes, I'm critiquing the shit out of it, okay? Also, burnability, Caucasian, 850 credit score. This one is burning perfect. It's burning all the way down. It's burning so, let's do one more bowl, let's do one more bowl. Oh, also we we skipped it. The smell of the weed, the smell and everything about it, I'm gonna give that a 9.6. It smelled incredible. All right, here we go. This is a Supreme Cream, and then we'll get straight onto the Glutopia. It's fire. That is so smooth. I got like eight grams left. I'm so excited. That's fire. That's great. It's just in the bong rip. It's everything I'm looking for. <coughs> <coughs> All right. That was a supreme cream. I'm gonna smoke this down. Let's get on to the next strain. All right, up next, the Glutopia. Here we go.
So I was doing comments earlier and I got a lot of them saying on the Ares video, damn, you hit everything so hard. You always rip everything way too hard. I just like smoking as hard as I can. On and off, my homies always talk shit because I rip the joints. I don't make them run, but I rip them like a tweaker. I understand. It doesn't help that I twist it like a tweaker. But still, it's always the days of hurry up, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up, smoke. Remember that? Yo, I got $3. You got $3, you got $8. All right, we can get a 10 second to Swisher, possibly a soda. I remember those times like they were literally yesterday. So to me, everything is like, yo, I know I have a pound of weed. I'm still not gonna waste my weed. I don't care if it's a bowl. I love it. So I think the mentality in my mind is still there of like, yo, hit that shit now. Unless I'm telling stories and talking, because then obviously I just sit there and talk. <sighs> what I want to smoke. Who's smoking? The burn is also of Caucasian descent. It's burning great. It looks bomb. The taste, I would like to know what the cross is on it because obviously there's some Gorilla Glue because it's Glutopia. I'm not tasting like that Gorilla Glue overpowering terp in my lip. Usually it's like on the ring and on the inside of your cheeks, you get that like. Oh gee, it's my tongue. Cookies, it's usually like in my nose with the purples. And this is just how I perceive these things. You could think differently. It's just, that's how I can tell what's what. This doesn't taste as much like Gorilla Glue as I thought. And maybe Glutopia is just the name and that's not even the cross. Glutopia is a cross of CBX glue and the proprietary cultivar cereal milk. So, so far it's burning great. Burnability, smoking right now. I'm gonna give that a nine. Taste, I can't say until I smoke a bowl. So let's go. on the channel. I needed that so bad right now. All right, we had a ball, we had this. I would match it 8.8 .8 just like the Supreme Cream. I would honestly match it the same because that's good, I can smoke this all day. That bong hit was bomb. I can smoke this all day. It's not nearly as sagey tasting as the Supreme Cream, so I like that. Looks, sellability, bag appeal, that shit? What did I say for the other one? 10? It's on 10. Truly, it's hard to get better looking than that. That's why I matched those so high. Let's back one more bowl of the Gutopia. All right, that was the Supreme Cream, and this is the Glutopia. Shout out to CPX for letting me get the magazine photo shoot nugs. Thank you so much. Those are literally untouched trichomes. So thank you for letting me get this experience, my first weed smoke out review of 2024. As always, thank you for being here. Leave a thumbs up, a like, uh, hit the subscribe button, notification bell. Thank you for that. But most importantly, remember, leave your comment below. What strain would you like to see? I can do these all the time. Also, if there's a certain company that has a certain strain, you want to see that, I can go grab that. Let me know, guys. It doesn't always have to be 70,000 products and it takes 13 hours to film. We can bust these out in two, three hours if we're just sitting here smoking, rolling up. This is fun. This is awesome. As always, thank you so much for being here. Until next time, I'm Dope Aziola. Have a dope ass day. This is ridiculous. Look at this.